Me Miner here. I'm at Silver Crater, which is just outside of Bancroft, Ontario, Canada. Dogs are whooped already. It's only halfway through the day. Costs $5 per person to get in. It's about a 20 minute, half hour walk. A few hills, so it's not for the lazy. It's all you can carry crystals. A lot of mica. I'm really looking for some good, solid appetite and see what else we can uh, score. Let's have some fun. I have a treat for you today. Guess who I'm following? My name is Jeff. Hey, Jeff, hey, man. So what's your YouTube channel? Me? Yeah. Mine or yours? Yours. What happened? No. Oh, there I am. <laughs> Absolutely, I watch my YouTube channel. No, no, what's your YouTube channel? Off the beaten path crystals. There we go. <laughs> go watch it. Jeff's gonna dig up there. Gabby will help him. We'll see if Shelby wants to stay here or go with him. Show you what I found. People are digging in the bank here. A lot of mica. See the book of Micah there? Micah. Oh. There. There's a broken piece of appetite, red appetite. Into the pocket she goes. Oh. There's some more green appetite crystal. There's some more on the other side. See that? Wee ones. But it's appetite. That is, I was gonna say mica. Plus more appetites. They're all running this way. Huh, nice. See those? That's wild leek. It's actually edible. Just if you do pick it, you don't want to take it all from an area. Otherwise, you have trouble growing back. Of note, leeks thrive on potassium, and appetite is a good source of potassium, so it's an indicator as to where you might want to dig. So I dug in further. You can see mica in the dirt. I wasn't finding much other than mica and calcite, kind of a pinkish calcite. And here's one, I think it's a broken appetite. It's very solid, quite heavy. Almost a metallic luster to it. You can just see all the mica here. I think I'll move on. Oh, what are you? All that stuff is on the outside, not the inside. Okay, we'll move. Jeff's already moved. <laughs> Hello, little guy. The garter snake. Hey guys, what you got? It's Jeff's water bottle. <laughs> Hope he's not mad.
This is waste rock from the Mont Mine. So the stuff they discarded when they were digging, just loaded with mineralization. Calcite. Mica. Feldspar. Mica. The only thing is, when you start digging a hole, what you find when you first start digging is usually, usually what you find behind it because it's one ore cart load. And maybe over here is a different ore cart load, different part of the mine. So you never know. You gotta keep trying spots until you get lucky. Let's look together in this pit. Somebody spent a lot of time digging out a bit of hillside here. Little bits of mica. <laughs> no. That's an appetite. <laughs> Gabby's got an appetite for an appetite. Put that in the pocket. Let's see if there's any more. There's a oh, she's trying. <laughs> Some more. I think it might be. Let's see. Huge mica. All through here. Under the leaves. Let's see what they're digging for in here. That looks man made. Splits. They call that play. We're getting deeper in the hole. We're getting some things out. it off. Let's see how it looks. So there's three on that side and the underside one looks a little bit degraded. There's one there's more. Keep digging show what I find.
Here's my secret weapon. Well, I find this kind of interesting. See the purple right in here? That's fluorite. But it's in mostly a mica rock. See the mica? For me, that's special. I've seen it in calcite, I've never seen it in mica. <laughs> so I'm keeping that one. It's heavy, but it's worthwhile taking home. See the hole? That's the adit. I've been into it in uh, older videos. It's interesting in there. Need a flashlight. See a bit of a dip. It's a trench that goes way back. And then over here, it really continues. Drive my dog's nuts because right at the bottom was a partridge. It's flown away, but they're still looking for it. There goes the other one. Labs love water. I'm guessing this is what they're taking out. Amazing like it. this one a bit better. Just wee ones in calcite. I like that. Some chunks. Broken pieces of appetite. They're very, very solid, which is nice. I might try polishing one. But I'll do that in a later video. Maybe during the winter. Set. Huh. Appetite. This one is one of the makers that I kept. It'll probably be a gift for a kid. Feldspar. That's the sodium feldspar, but you can really see the crystals. I think what I'd like to do with that is put a cut in it and use it to hold a slice silver or something else. This one, that's anthoball. It's not normally that shiny, so I like it. And then this. There's the fluorite. There's the mica books on each side of it. But I'm going to show you something really cool. A long wave UV lamp by Way Too Cool.